What's up everyone and welcome to Driver's Therapy. Today, we're gonna be teaching a young guy how to drive, or let's just say ride, a scooter. So this is Max's, my son's, kind of first time riding a scooter and uh, he just hasn't been exposed to him but we got his back because we're going to show him how. So before we start, we got to ask Max how he feels. How do you feel about it, Max? I'm a bit nervous and excited to learn how to do this. <laughs> you got this, man. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about the most important thing when riding a scooter, and that is safety. We always have to make sure that the rider is safe, so follow whatever the scooter's manual says, your local laws, just common sense. Make sure you're safe. Max has a helmet, you could use knee pads, you could use elbow pads, and you could wear additional clothing, but just be smart. Make sure that you're also learning in an open space where there's not a lot of traffic, and that you have enough time and patience, and you can relax and learn and have fun. So the first thing you wanna do is know what foot you're gonna step on to the scooter first. So you could either use your right foot or left foot. People have names for it. They call it Goofy Foot, they call it Lead Foot, Iron Man Foot, Mickey Foot, whatever. Essentially, you just wanna be able to feel comfortable when you're kicking off. So with this scooter, it's a kick off and go. And what you wanna do is pretty much feel what, which one is the best. Like if you're going with your right foot, or if you're going with your left foot. And for me, my left foot feels weird. And that's because my left foot is a little bit, I mean, my left leg is a little bit weaker than my right leg, I assume, but I feel comfortable with my right foot. So before the young scooter rider is going to get on the scooter and press the button, he needs to learn how to actually push off and feel the scooter without any power. So that's what we're gonna let Max do is just practice. So Max is just gonna just practice pushing off with the scooter. Just getting used to pushing the scooter, feeling its weight, and kicking off. And he's leaning a little bit, but again, the scooter is gonna be more comfortable and it's gonna wanna keep itself up the faster you go. It's kind of the science behind motorcycles and anything with two wheels. The more speed it gets, the more the contact patch is gonna to wanna to center itself. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about feet position. So one of the most common things is just jumping on it and just being centered, right? But the best thing you wanna do is you just kinda of wanna learn how to balance yourself. And one of the best things is just distributing the weight. So this is what I like to do. You know, just kind of distribute your weight a little bit, learn. But I'll also, we're gonna teach that you always wanna look where you go. Okay, all right, Max, try it out a little bit. All right, guys, we figured out a really good way how to practice. So before we implement power or we press the accelerator button, what we were doing is letting Max kick off three times and then jumping on the scooter. And what that does is it lets Max understand how the scooter feels, start getting an idea of how it balances, and it also keeps him constrained to just kick off three times and jump on the scooter without continuously kicking off. So now Max is gonna be practicing up and down, going down this road right here or this parking lot but a really unique thing about it is that it has a small grade to it so downhill is going to be really good for him to learn how to keep the scooter straight because of the velocity but going uphill he's going to have to add an extra little bit of gas and it's going to be a whole different environment and it's going to teach him how to control the scooter going uphill so we'll let max do the work and we'll check it out all right max you ready what do you yeah, yeah. all right <laughs> So as you can see, Max is learning how to still stay stable and keep a good line. But as he gets confident, he's learning how to do a lot better. And he's still learning how to brake because when you're braking, you have to use the brake and not jump off. Now going uphill, he has to add a little bit more power. Remember, the scooter wants to be stable. The faster it's going, the more stable it's gonna be. And that applies for bikes, motorcycles, and anything with two wheels pretty much. Good job, Max. 
Now he needs to brake, use his brake, and not just jump off. There you go, that's the right way to do it. So we did this with Max for about 45 minutes because we wanted to make sure that he got some practice in and he got a little bit more comfortable with the scooter. So now what we did here at the parking lot is we developed the graduation course. And what that was is that he just had to do a full lap around this entire parking lot. But the unique thing was is that there is a speed bump over there. And if you look at the speed bump right there between the sidewalk and the speed bump is this little opening. And just like in a Top Gun movie, he had to cut through that and he did it. Now we'll let him try it one more time, but he already did it. He already graduated, but I know you guys want to see him do it one more time, right? All right, let's go, Max. Show us what you've got. And I'm going to be doing it announcer style. All right, Max is kicking off. Looks like he's using proper throttle. Looks like he's maintaining a good line. Now, this is the part for any new beginner. He's going to have to be taking that corner. And taking that corner is going to require speed and confidence. He's taking a little slow, but it, he's making a corner. He's going to have to add a little bit more speed there, but he's going through it. Now, this is the... Oh, no. It's okay. It happens. It happens. He was coming through that corner, cut it too close, but he's not giving up, and that's what it's about. Now, he's got to cut through this Top Gun opening, and this is the hard one because he's got to maintain it. He did it. He's got the Top Gun opening. He's coming through, and he's got to do the final corner right here, and then he's going to be finishing off. And he's got this. And then he's going to see if he could use the right braking technique. He doesn't want to jump off. And then he's stopping. Boom. Well, you know what, guys? We're going to call that a success because this young man could barely get on the scooter this morning. So with a couple hours of training, some screaming from the military dad, and some encouragement from the awesome Elise, who's behind the camera, Max has done a good job. But let's ask Max how he felt about it and if he's got any advice for any young ones out there who's also trying to tackle this skill. You know, you have to achieve failure sometimes, but that's the path to success. It may be scary. Failure may be scary, but that's where success is found. Yeah, Max. Were yeah. you scared a little bit? I was scared, but I had to conquer it in my mind. It's all mentality. Yeah, he mm -hmm. did fall and he did kind of, did you feel like quitting a couple times? I did feel like quitting, but there was more to go. Yeah. I couldn't just stop there. Yeah, that's good, guys. And remember, for you young guys out there, you could do it. Scooters might seem a little bit scary, but if you have the right safety equipment, if you have a parent watching over you and some patience in a big parking lot, you guys will be able to accomplish it. Thanks for watching Driver's Therapy. We appreciate it. You guys take care, and we'll see you in the next video.